Hello, boys and girls, this is Undersheel, of course, and welcome back to another Cooking with Anderseal. <laughs> Today we're gonna make some pasta, a nice salad, and also some sauce, I guess, meat sauce? It's called, or bolognese, I guess, bolognese, pasta and bolognese. I think that is the right word, we call it spaghetti au chut for sauce. I don't have any spaghetti, uh, but this is the stuff I'm gonna be using in this video. For the salad, we got some cucumbers, some mixed tomatoes, balsamico vinaigrette, some oil, uh, some salads mix, basically herbs, and also some iceberg lettuce. For the main meal, I'm using pasteurized tomatoes, basically super crushed tomatoes, whole grain pasta, use whatever pasta you like, uh, some seasoning, uh, paprika pulver, some oregano, some chicken steak seasoning, some rock salt, uh, onions, and of course some minced meat. I prefer as a bacon taste, I'm using pig. Now get yourself a pan with water, put it on your stove, and put it on maximum heat. We want this pump to start boiling ASAP. And also, of course, get yourself one for the bolognese sauce. Now you want to start cutting your onions, uh, finely chopped I would say, you don't want two big pieces so anything is raw inside the bolognese when it's actually done, you want it all to be sweet pieces of uh, onion that uh, taste good and, and makes your bolognese extra savory. Our water is boiling, time to put in that pasta. A little bit on the floor is good too, you gotta feed those mice, otherwise they'll starve, it's cold during the winter, okay? And uh, next to it we have the pan for the bolognese. Uh, put a little bit of salt into the pasta water, it always makes the pasta just a little bit better, and make sure to cook it al dente, so it's a little bit hard inside when you take it off the stove. Not a lot, just a little bit of chewing resistance. I like to already kind of uh, mince up the meat meat a little bit extra in the package before I actually put it in together with the onions and the pasteurized tomatoes then I like to really like whip it up good and then put the heat on after I put all the seasoning in and that kind of stuff obviously you can always season a little bit in the end as well to make sure you seasoned enough but I made this dish many many times so I know pretty much exactly how much seasoning I want in from the start uh, but this is gonna make it very smooth in texture compared to if you pre-fry the minced meat before you start cooking the tomatoes and the onions, giving the whole thing a very nice sauce-like quality and just just really pops in your mouth, so to say. I'm already, my mouth is watering here, uh, making the commentary. Start out the bolognese on a pretty high temperature to start off with. When you see it kind of boiling up like it's doing here, make sure to stir it heavily so nothing burns in the bottom. If it seems slightly dry, add a couple of tablespoons and more of the tomato sauce just to make it uh, a little bit more jummy. But don't add too much, we don't want it watery. The bolognese is almost done, so just let it simmer on medium heat. Wash the vegetables thoroughly. And now the pasta has cooked as well. It's slightly al dente, a little bit of sugar resistance in the middle so just turn off all of the water and just let it sit on a cold plate on the side and uh, the sauce is almost done as well so let's turn that plate off too okay let's get started with the vinaigrette we have a little bit of water a couple of tablespoons then I put in a little bit of the herb mix something you can buy in Swedish grocery stores you can probably find something similar where you live a little bit of oil whatever oil you like of course and then some balsamico vinaigrette uh, I'm using a very thick aged one because those have the most flavor and are the taste just. Uh, you should maybe not use as much as I do. I use about two tablespoons. You might use uh, one teaspoon and that will be enough for you. And then just whisk it around a little bit and let it uh, sit for about a minute or two before you actually pour it over your dressing. It will taste magically. It makes any tomato based food taste a lot better with this kind of a salad for it, especially this and lasagna for example.
When it comes to the salad, I actually got a little bit of a tip for you guys. Uh, always make sure to remove the stalks, of course, when it comes to iceberg lettuce, uh, because no one wants stalks, that's that's never nice. But after you have rinsed them off and removed the stalks, just simply bundle them up in your hands and rip the salad apart like I did there. That makes it actually taste a lot better than if you cut it with a knife. It might sound weird, but it's actually true. Uh, more of the vinaigrette will stick to the salad leaves and will give them more taste and it, it will simply taste better. Uh, I just take my word for it, try it out, and I bet you you will never cut your salad again, unless if you need to have it very finely chopped or something similar. Uh, now it is time to plate up this beauty. I'm starting off with uh, filling the bowl with the iceberg lettuce, then putting the tomatoes and uh, cucumber on top, and then spritzing or pouring my vinaigrette on top of that. Now we want to get the pasta on the bottom of the plate, and this is why it's so important to not have a watery uh, bolognese, because then the plate will be full of water in the bottom, and no one wants that. If you have made it correctly like I showed you, it will be very creamy and thick, and then of course a little bit of ketchup. That's just the Swedish way. So there you go. There's some shot vegetables and spaghetti or a bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Anders style. I hope it will taste good. Or I know it will taste good for me. Because I've done this like 200 times at least. But I hope if you guys try it at home, you will like it. And thumbs it up, so to say. But yeah, let's have a look. <clears throat> look at that. It was even smoking when I plated it up. So beautiful. And the salad. Mmm. Jum, jum, jum. Let's have some grub.